out of my four children that I believe I had, one, one is my own child. I didn't get to one, <laughs> three, inko, the rest. One, I repeat, out of my four children that I've been nursing, one, just one, belongs to me. The, the, the basic thing that is paining me is because I've really spent a lot on these children. These are the children that they call me daddy. I call them my children. What's up, guys? Is your girl Nye, baby? So, guys, today I have a man here by my side. He called me. There's something he would like to share with my audience, guys. He's a married man. There is something he wants to talk. Hmm. Marriages today. <laughs> Fear they catch me, sir. Okay, sir, please don't mention your name. Just go straight with your story. Let's listen to you. And if you have any advice, we can advise you. Madam, well done. I mean, thank you for bringing me up on your platform. I really appreciate it. Ah, to the audience, I would like to discuss something very, very important that is pathetic to me. Honestly, before, I don't believe all of these online videos. Trust me, because I feel like some of them are fake. But this is what actually happened to me. From a wife that I truly love, I care for. <sighs> so, I'm a married man based abroad. I got back last year due to the problem I'm facing. Um, by the grace of God... I have three kids, um, four kids rather. I have three, three boys and one girl. That's my last born. So I came back since last year and I've not been able to go back because of the problem I'm facing from a wife that I so much love. I mean, when I was abroad, I do make sure that my family are not lacking anything because I cherish my wife so much and I really love my children. I'm not wealthy, but I'm rich, I'm comfortable in my own way, and my family are not suffering. Do you understand? So, I've been here since last year, and I'm meant to go back sometimes in January, but I didn't go back due to the problem I'm actually facing. My, my last born, that's my girl, she's really, really been sick since last year that I go back. First, I thought that it was something small because before I go back, I've been sending money and truly my wife, I've been taking care of her. But at some point, I, I had to tell her that I've just been spending a lot of money in this particular hospital. Why can't we change to a hospital that I'm more comfortable with? And this hospital I'm talking about, a, a friend of mine that has been, well, we've been together for childhood works there. So, I mean, I'm comfortable and I can really say, okay, no matter what, this person will not lie to me. So she agreed and we took my daughter there. Hmm. To my greatest surprise, I mean, this is a girl that has been losing blood countless times. It's really sad and heartbreaking. I mean, a girl of about three, four years that is losing so much blood like this. Okay, I thought of it. I, I reached out to my friend that, okay, please, instead of me buying, buying blood, please, can we... Can you take blood from my body? If not, take from our, our mother. I mean, she's my wife. And we both gave birth to this child together. So he went further by um, going for blood samples. Now, hey, baby, I'm so, so, so shocked. I mean, this thing now that I'm about to say, you would not believe it. That, that my friend that is the doctor confirmed to me that the blood samples that I went to take, I mean, my blood and my child's blood, my daughter's blood, though, is not merging, is not matching. Same as my wife. When he told me, I almost lost my breath. Like, are you for real? A girl of four years? So that she's not losing more blood. I just told him to go on. Whatever blood you know he's going to get, I'm, I'm, I mean... I'm spending more, but it's just to keep her alive that she just go on with it. And my wife went home. I got back home, sat her down. I spoke to her as a gentleman that I am. 
my friend confirmed to me, the doctor, a medical doctor confirmed to me that my blood and your blood samples is not merging with the girl child that we have together. I asked her this question for over three days. She refused to answer. <laughs> I was very patient enough because there's this one person that I respect in their family. That's our own brother. When we got married then, he was the one that helped. He helped me in financial aspects. Even when I traveled abroad, he was the one that still assisted me. So I respect him so much. And I actually gave back to him when I had to. Because I'm not the kind of person that you will help me or do something good for me. I will not be able to pay you back in good times. So I, he's the only one I expect in their family. So I reached out to him. That's I've been speaking to my wife, which is your sister, for over three to four days now, asking her, why is the blood samples of myself and her not merging together with the girl child that we have? She has refused to answer me. So I, I, he spoke to me that she calm down. So I went back to my friend, doctor, that I'm confused. I don't know what is going on. So he advised me to go for a DNA test. And to my surprise... <laughs> I confirmed it myself that I'm not the owner of this girl child I've been spending on for over four years now. I mean, literally for this sickness alone, I spent over going to two million plus, not even closer to, not even additional to what I'm still going to spend because I'm still going to get a blood donor. I'm surprised I'm not the owner of my child because I went for a DNA test. So I reached out to my wife's brother because he's the only one I, I really so much respect in the family. He helped me. He was the one that made me travel. I mean, he helped me financially during my wedding and everything. So I reached out to him. He said he's going to call his sister. Not knowing that the phone call was on record. I was surprised that I'm not the owner of my girl child. So he recorded the call. So the DNA test confirmed the DNA how, how test old is the baby? How old is she? She'll be four this year. Okay. So the DNA test confirmed that I'm not the owner of my own girl child that I've been nursing for the past four years. Like I said earlier, I literally take my family first. So whenever I get my salary, I make sure I send it to the house sometimes. I make sure that they're all comfortable. You understand? So I was so surprised. He placed the call on record. And she confessed to her own brother. And she was unable to confess to me. So not knowing that her own brother recorded the call and sent to me. Saying, uh, the girl child is not my child. That the girl child belongs to my own friend. Not just my friend. My best man. The one that best me on my, on my wedding. This is a person. This is what she told her brother. I mean, I'm so, so, I'm so angry. When I heard that word, I almost fainted. Because why would a friend of mine, this person now I'm talking about, when I was abroad, I called this guy at least four to five times in a week. We speak on WhatsApp call. We speak on voice call. I even call him on video call, send him money sometimes. Not knowing that she makes up with my, 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 my own best man, my friend. And my friend could not even resist things like this so i've been nursing my friend's child for four good years so i took i took everything upon myself i was the, the medication continued the test and everything she was fine but my friend doctor called me because at some point i just came to the house i saw my wife she was about to put in herself. She wants to drink up some things. I mean, they're harmful to her. I had to collect it from her. I told her, I said, Madam, look, this is not the way forward. I'm no longer interested. But I'm not going to advise you to do yourself. I had to stop her and say, Madam, look, this marriage has ended. So you're yourself, who is going to take care of your children, your child? Because I'm not even sure if I'm the owner of the rest of the child. So, I mean, my friend doctor called me and said, see, look, I would advise you to run a DNA test for the rest of the three children. I mean, I, I accepted because I was happy that he made such opinion to me. I accepted it. 
and I took them for DNA tests. <laughs> this really break my heart. Now, out of my four children that I believe I had, one, one is my own child. I didn't get to one, <laughs> three, inko. the rest. One. I repeat, out of my four children that have been nursing, one, just one, belongs to me. <laughs> At this point, I just thought of it. Okay, no problem. I came back home. I picked up the only child that belongs to me. I took him down to Lagos. I left the rest of them. I came, I took my child back down to Lagos. In fact, I'm even planning to travel with him. She sought herself. I don't have business with the rest of the children. But the, 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 the basic thing that is paining me is because I've really spent a lot on these children. These are the children that they call me daddy. I call them my children. I buy everything they need for them. I mean, are the children that in the educational aspect, they don't, don't lack in anything. They attend one of the best schools. They are not lacking in it. So I've been nursing three good children. They are not mine. I didn't even bother to ask her who owns the rest of the two. What's my business about? So I, I just took my own child. And I brought him back to Lagos. I mean, my friend called me. My family called me. Even our brother called. That um, So who's going to? I said, I don't have business with them. But my main major thing is that how would those children feed? When my own wife could stoop low to have a f with my best man. Are you sure that your best man is the father of the rest? I'm not sure. I don't even, I don't, I, what's my business about it? I said I didn't even bother to confirm who owns them. Since DNA has confirmed to me that I'm not the bona fide owner of the rest of the two children. Out of my four children, I ha my own is just one. Which I took, I left them. I took, brought my own child to Lagos. I, I was even planning to travel with him before my family reached out and said, "I've come a long way with these children. They don't have. They don't know that they're not. I'm not their real father. That um, who is going to take care of them? Blah blah blah. I'm like, take care of them. As my wife ever thought of it, that for this man that have loved me this much, on the norms, I was not convinced." I was not convinced at some point because I come to Nigeria, myself and my wife, we have sex. So at some point, I didn't really believe it, not until the DNA confirmed to me. I mean, this is a doctor that is my friend from childhood. So he wouldn't lie to me. He wouldn't want to break my marriage. The only thing he would have wanted to do for me to help me is to tell me the truth, which he had did. Out of four children, I have just one. My wife kept on calling me. She's sorry. She's not going to do that again. She's going to look for the rest of the, the children's um, father and sort out things with them. She just want me to come back. I said, come back for what, woman? Come back and come and bet a bastard children. Come back to do what exactly? Come back to do what? When I spend all my hard-earned money, you know, I'm, I work 12 hours sometimes when I traveled. 12 hours, sometimes I work 17 hours just to make sure that I'm sending something to the house. They are all comfortable. I invested so much in this lady. I opened a store for her. Bought her a car. Now what she could use to repay me is by giving me a bag of children to bet, to take care of, and expecting me to bring back to forgive you and bring, up, bring back those children. Fine. The children I love. My firstborn is nine years. The second one is seven. The second one that is my own is seven. Why the third one is, is five years and the last one is about three, three plus. But my own is seven years. So I just brought him to Lagos. I was even planning to travel before um, the family and everybody started begging me. So, sir, what do you want to do now? I don't know what to do too because, I mean, at this point, I don't mind being a single father to the head of my life. But she kept on begging, sending messages, sending people to me, my mom. I don't know what to do. Is she expecting me to bring her back? That's how I mean. I said I thought of it to share it to the to your audience. Because 
Sometimes when I, when I listen to some of your programs on Facebook and the rest of other platforms, I feel like I just stole with you, but this is my own story now that I'm bringing. I thought of it to just share, and I want advice from people, because left to me, I don't want to take her back. Left to me, I don't want to take her back. Could you believe that I already bought land in the names of these children, from the first one to the last child? I bought land. Before I wasn't comfortable, but now that I have money, I already bought land in different locations that at some point I would allocate to them that, okay, this is your own, this is your own. So how but are you going to do it? I mean, now, now that everything has happened, she's not making me enjoy every, anything about my life. I mean, my life is chattered right now. I don't even, I'm not thinking straight. I'm not believing anybody anymore. She's been calling me, sending different people to beg me because she wants us back. Wants us back for me to, to, to be betting a back child for me to be betting a bad child how oh my gender self sometimes eh? really, as in, she really, this is a woman that i really love so much i mean i i i bought her i bought her a car invested in her investment was nothing less than five, five million era like i not for her to just get yourself up worked up with something so that she's not just sitting at home my children that happen to be a bad now they are one of the best schools i'm telling you so what else do, does a woman want in a man that I've not done? You're now going outside to make love with my best man. That one, I see the fine name. If you see this video, make him better the wrong because I define them. He don't block all my numbers, block me for social media. People they find them, not be only me, they even find them because I don't report the matter for police station. So if they watch, if they were coming, they watch him back. Because people they find them. I, I don't just want to I don't want to do jungle justice. That's why I would have just captured him and but I'm still looking for him now. So if he's watching this video, you should always watch his back whenever he's walking. Because we cannot just talk much, I beg. Alright, guys. As we have watched his video, I'm cold. Women are so wicked. Not all of them, just come. All of them on a wicked, I beg. Not tell me so of ah. I mean, what would some what would you give birth to three children that are not a man's own, your own? Ah, bah. Why try not say after a man do I'm now and I go down go by Balao go they do say you want make your man sit down. What you want make I do and what I don't do for you? Afa, the women are they are equal. They are too wicked. Hey, calm down, sir. Beg, calm down. Ah. Allow people to advise you. I know they judge yet. How women are equal? Hey, calm down first. All right, guys. I don't know some some of our genders like this. I don't know my gender. Ah, waiting they never do. No, and what is Toto no Gezi. Which kind of nonsense be that one? Im imagine three children no be my own. Ah. Which kind of woman be, be that one? Sir, calm down. Everything is going ah. to be fine. So, what is your parents saying over this thing? What's their, their own suggestion now? She's my mom. Okay. She doesn't want it. Your father, uncle? It's only my dad I say, nah. Oh boy, you have to just accept things okay, happen. You should accept them. But me, as I did like this, my no one accept these children. But the love is still there. Fine. You still love your children. I can be sending them small, small change. May they take the do upkeep. May they find the remaining. May the remaining one. May they find their papa go go. They do their upkeep. But I feel this, because these are children we say we they play. Sometimes if I come to Nigeria, I will buy them for tea, take them on shopping, on shopping. No, not knowing that I'm not the owner of the children. You shouldn't be a bastard on our own. Hmm. Okay. All right, guys, please, let's advise him. This moment, there is nothing I'm saying now. He will listen to me. At all. You are angry, I understand. I'm planning to even collect my car back from her. If she's seeing this video, she should just prepare her mind because I'm getting my car back from her. I think. You want to collect the car also yes. from her? I'm locking down that shop, too. Her own shop that you open? Yes, I'm locking it down. So you need to calm down now. Okay, I she's don't She's still hear. your wife. <laughs> but she not try. Out of four. I one. will not lie to you. Uh -uh. She don't Who need to shit kind of on her thing? husband. Out of four. One. Just one belong to me. Uh -uh. Uh, if you are married, I bet may be careful now. Women should be very careful. Why will you be cheating on your husband? Not even one, not even two. Three. Hmm. Now oh, wow. So, but you say you die abroad now. Are you sure say they come back safe? I took her. Uh, I said sometimes when I come back, because most times I come back during December period. Okay. I mean, those are the times I come back. So I just come back, chill with my family, like, for a month. And that one month, I did not come well. I used to come back home. 
I stay like two, three, four months just to make sure that they feel this fatherly love and she also feel this husband love and sometimes i would even take them on outing okay let's have go for a family time so no I, I don't even get where this is coming from i mean what would have led i don't i don't even want to know what would have led that to see this. the thing is that someone is there know. deceiving her and she, she gave the person I chance give her, i give her two fifty thousand era the allowance not even for provision now two fifty thousand era allowance you understand what i'm saying i give her money for shopping so what else does she want? She uses one of the best cars. So what else does she want? What, what else do women want? Let me just put it like that. No, oh, sir, please calm down. Don't ah. worry, I'm going to post your video. I'm not really happy that I'm leaving my wife because she really, really suffered when I had nothing. But now that God has blessed me, she just, she just started to scatter everything. I'm she not suffered with you when you don't have... She really... From zero. From zero. When we used to go to the village then... We go and hawk sometimes to come just for us to meet ends needs because we both suffer together. But now that God has blessed me, that I want to also bless her the more. In change, I do a lot of things. Even I was even planning on traveling with every four of us, five of us, let us travel. But now, see, look at things. Who would accept something like this? I'm not happy. I'm not happy living abroad. Well, if you if your father is telling you to um, accept your family back, just think about that one again. If it's my father, would he accept it? You can't judge it that way. If it's because, but you love your wife, right? My my father has three children, and the three children belong to just one. That's my wife, my my mom, rather. Mm, I so, under, I know. So that's what I'm saying. If it's my father, would he accept it? No, I'm, I didn't say you should accept it. I'm telling you that no, if I'm, your I'm father is so suggesting, my father would he accept it? If he's watching this video, would he accept it? No, no man would even accept it. I mean, some some men would have even gone and. Probably go for a jungle, jungle justice, beat the wife. Well, I, I just told her, see, this is the thing. I took my, my own my own child, took her away and took him away. Brought him to Lagos. I need to travel with him. Okay, yeah. guys, please let's advise him. What do you think that is Women best for him? Women are very, very wicked. All of them. That is it. Because as I did like this, even my mama said, I don't trust them again at this point. No, wow. Things they happen, no. I'm not happy with the condition your wife puts everything. She no try. In fact, she's doing it steady. She no even look back. One, two, three. Three. Ah. I mean, that is the thing. If it's one, now, then we go say, eh, hey, but anyway. But if you can still forgive your wife. For, if you can look for the father of the human If you can forgive your wife. Yeah. I beg, let's, let's talk off camera, Sha. Okay, please help me share this video and also advise him. Thank you, guys.